Uh, Hello YouTube, I'm back. I'm coming back with a uh, an exciting new series, as yet <laughs> before before unseen content. Uh, so I'm far, <laughs> so far we're calling it the Mobathon. So I'm gonna do a quick whip round tour of showing one game from each of the different MOBAs that I have access to. So we're starting with Heroes of the Storm, which is the Blizzard MOBA crossing over the different universes of the Blizzard games, the primary ones being Diablo, Warcraft and Starcraft, but they've started to do uh, Overwatch Heroes now as well. And this is the Overwatch theme mapped. I don't own Overwatch, so sorry if people are expecting some Overwatch gameplay, um, but here we go. And I've got my co-host here, my friend from uni, who will provide insightful commentary and pack me up here. Um, back yeah, you up. Exactly. Uh, so I'm playing Oriel, who is a support um, hero. Uh, this is the same type of game... What does the MOBA even stand for again? Multiplayer, multiplayer online... online Battle Arena. Yes, Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. So it's a 5v5, essentially tug of war, pushing against your opponents. Um, whereas this is a weird map where like in Overwatch, we have to accompany payloads across the map. Uh, probably as you yeah, can I see in front of say, you this the is not screen. The... <laughs> yeah, it's not the... This uh... is not the best map to I like what a MOBA is. Oh well. But I'm playing a support hero, so my job is to generally heal and try and save other people uh, from the danger that they put themselves in. And I'm playing uh, one of the angels from the Diablo universe. Who are you playing, Carmi? Hello. Oh, you've already slipped up already. <laughs> I've slipped up already, but I always keep going. Already. Real name already. Okay. <laughs> I am playing Asmodan, a demon with nipple rings. <laughs> so, very different. That's, that, that's his greatest power. Yes, it's, 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 it's his key feature. So, uh, my, so co he... my co host, whose name will remain unknown, uh, <laughs> will be with me for this exciting series where we play some of the different games so you should we should mention which character is yours oh what the 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 really pink angel yeah that's me the shiny unicorn and the and the fat glowing demon riding a hearthstone card that's uh that's as dad um i'm an aeroplane we so in this game so in this moba so since in the series we'll be pointing out some of the differences between them um we get to pick talents instead of buying items oh yeah you should probably go solo top lane as as dad i can go up in a moment you wanted to do the anyway. do the fight mid so i'm gonna I'm take the yeah i'm gonna take the level one talent of increasing clarity, so I need to. I guess I should show people my abilities. So my Q is a. I get to like whip my. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Sweep the area with sacred power. Yeah. So I got like whips that I. Ca if I catch people in the middle, then I deal extra damage, and my quest means that each time I do that, then I get to do it some more. I am suffering some frame rate drops. Sorry, everyone, for that. Um, but Fraps is uh, quite cruel on the old uh, on the old PC. Um, yeah. So my W allows me to heal allies in an air of effect. Oh, great. We have sassy Alorak insulting my healing. Um, oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Um, and I, I, hope your, uh, I hope your fraps doesn't pick up my mouse clicking. Uh, it probably shouldn't do. So yeah, my uh, my W he ability heals more based on uh, how much energy I have, which I get based on uh, when allies deal lots of damage when I've put my Bestow Hope on them. So as you can see, Alarak has an angelic crown. That's because I've uh, used my trait on it. My final basic ability is Detainment Strike, so I can knock someone back. And if they hit a wall, then they get stunned immediately. 
Okay, so the first payloads are going to spawn. We have to... One of the strategies for the map is to accompany the payloads to destroy uh, to, along the path down to the bottom here. And it will fire against the core. And their core has 7 health. The first, uh, first team to destroy the enemy core wins. The usual sort of thing. Uh, for my next talent, which I get at level 4, I'm going to take Repeater Defense, which lets me build up the damage. Oh god, someone, someone already uh, <laughs> quitting. Um, yeah, it lets me deal extra damage when I stun people into a wall with my Detainment Strike. So it's another quest, which I can progress by satisfying that condition, basically. Oh. Okay. Oh, I've known much better healers. So at the moment we can't push the objective forward because they've got it contested pretty well because the Gazlo, this creepy clown here, has set up his turrets to continuously shoot us. Also because our uh, assassin character, Alarak, who's meant to be the main damage dealer, he's turned into an AI because the person has quit the game. Or lagged out. Uh, so it just means that we're going to have quite a rough time at the moment while we wait for him to come back. It'll be fine. Have faith. There we go. Um, have you explained about team leveling yet? Oh, right. Do you, do you want to explain Others. it? Oh, I'll leave it all to you. Because I'm busy trying to win a 1v1. <laughs> so you're too busy winning to explain everything. So exactly. in this game, the entire team levels up at the same time. So as long as we're near minion kills, uh, mercenary camps, which are like the jungle, and um, hero kills, then you get extra. Oh, there we go. It's being attacked. Uh, then you get extra. XP, which then causes your heroes to level up. Uh, we get our ultimate abilities at level 10 in this game. Which isn't too bad. Yeah, it's slightly uh, difficult to win this fight with just etc. Or ETC, Elite Tauren Chief 10 from World of Warcraft. He's a warrior tank so he's not especially good at dealing a lot of damage but his ultimate is one of the most exceptional in the, ge in the game so it is very worth it so I'm going to take empathetic link so when allies take damage I get more energy whereas before it was only based on uh, dealing damage couldn't quite get the gas low there because uh, because my Q is a delayed ability, it, uh, it's not very good for chasing people down. Okay, the enemy got their payload in, so as you see, we take one damage there. Okay, so we've got to clear out Gazlos and turrets, and then keep moving on. Okay, so. The second set of payloads have spawned, so as soon as we get this one in, I'll probably be headed top lane to come and help the others, and I'll ping that I'm doing so. Unfortunately, I was too busy looking at top lane, uh, so I might die here. Yeah. <laughs> I, was I was too busy pinging top to realise I was being attacked by three enemies. I didn't realise that etc. had left me, though that was completely my mistake. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I've got I've got no excuse for that one, and it's uh, recorded, so there's there's absolutely no way out. There's photo, there's video evidence. This there's time. video uh, video evidence. So at the moment we're fighting for control of uh, pushing our payload here. So I'm on my way. We uh, are slowly being forced back. In this game, we get to mount. So I've got my nice rainbow unicorn here that I ride on the back of. That I get to use if I don't take damage out of combat after I press Z. So it's meant to favour cross map roaming, since this is meant to be a very team based game. Very team based. Let's 
So, how do you fancy our chances of winning? Um, I think we're doing okay for the moment, uh, considering that I don't know if Alarax actually came back. Ah, I don't believe they have now. Yeah, I think in, th in this game we have the luxury of a a hero who goes AFK uh, being replaced. Okay, Alaric hasn't come back. Um, they're replaced with an AI, so they're they're a terrible player, but they're still in the game. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I'm sure and I think that's the only it. one that will replace it with an AI. I'm not sure about Smite. I'm definitely not an authority on Smite. I, I don't think Smite does it. No. Oh, oh, for Smite we may have an additional special guest. Oh yes, if we can uh, call, call our other secret unnamed ally in. What's that special guest or one-off? <laughs> one-off episode, perhaps begrudgingly. We haven't asked him yet, so... Enemy payload yeah. fired. Okay, so the enemy got the payload in there. I couldn't really uh, stop them. But we do, we have now reached level 10 first, so I'm going to take the Crystal Aegis ultimate. Crystal Aegis, you already said that right. So I can put an ally here into stasis for two seconds, protecting them from uh, all damage, but they can't move. Um, and then they explode for big damage. So they've also reached level 10. Uh, and yeah, so in this game, in okay, case so, <laughs> since I totally didn't mention it there, you get to choose between two ultimates. <laughs> rather than having one set ultimate, which I believe is unique. I don't um, think... Yeah, I don't I, think, I don't, think any, I don't think any of the other MOBAs. <laughs> this is meant to be like an educational series where we tell people about how different oh, MOBAs no, no. work. And we're we don't all even... learning. We're all learning. <laughs> we're, learning for yeah, we're all learning together. Surely. I think so. Okay, I just checked. I am still recording. <laughs> I mean, it's entirely, it's entirely possible that I could accidentally hit F9 and then. Uh, this is where no one's been listening to us, you've just been talking to yourself. The whole time. So there you go, I put Alarak into stasis there to protect him. Unfortunately, because he's AI, he still stayed. He didn't uh, try and run away. Um, but I delayed his death, and he's also now rejoined the game, so we might stand a chance if a human player comes back. One of their payloads is there available, but they haven't started pushing it yet, so I'm going to go and push it. Um, it goes faster if you've got more people pushing it, up to a max of three. So as you see, Samuro is going to turn up here, and we're going to start pushing at two speed. That sounds like a hint that more that we should be going into it. No, but there's, as you can see, there's three enemies pushing the other payloads, so it's normally sensible to... Oh, I'm dead. It's to either be pushing your own payload or be stopping the other one. So uh, my co-host just tried to stop them from pushing the other one with limited success, um, but he was vastly <laughs> outnumbered. There is always I'll, give you, I'll give you limited success. Okay, okay, that's fair. So if a team is able to take out one of the forts, then the next payload will get an extra point of damage, so that's why they're rushing in here to try and take our fort. Your payload has been redeployed. Harmony um, I guess for the sake of detailing the other MOBAs, in this in this MOBA the towers have limited ammo, which recharges uh, quite slowly over time, so a tactic is often to, uh, like what well, Asmodan can do, uh, so Sure, obviously calming. Calming. Spawned in these two minions. <laughs> well, you've already uh, said it earlier. <laughs> yeah, I already said it earlier, so, you know, I'm not going to avoid it. Um, when they're finding it now. He summons minions, which not only obviously deal more damage to the enemy minion wave, but it'll um, use up more of the ammo of enemy turrets. So, level 13 talent, I'm going to take a Blinding Flash, so that means enemies caught in the center of my queue uh, are blinded. It seems to be going kind of well. We're quite a few kills here. That's terrific, oh. terrifically missed there, but never, never mind that. Fortunately, Alarak's damage is extremely high, so that recharges my Bestow Hope um, energy quite quickly. What ultimate did you go for this game? I went for Blackpool, which, when I sit on this Blackpool, increases my damage. 
It's one of the more lackluster ultimates in the game. But there oh, you go. oh, you say lackluster. I say that my co-host here doesn't know how to play the game. <laughs> Yes, because when I play, I pretty much always choose the other ultimate on Asmodan. And there is, um, generally speaking, heroes have one ultimate that's almost always better to go for. But uh, I think with Asmodan, it's pretty much 50 50 split. Um, you know, cit citation needed. <laughs> I'm not exactly an expert. I mean, I haven't even played, like, any ranked in heroes. It's not my Let's game of check. expertise. No. No. Painful. Uh, yeah, we should we should go bot lane to stop their payload now. So we've currently got plus one damage point over them, and we've dealt a lot of damage to well, the damage to everything other than the fort there. So it's now ready to for us to kind of clear out. So I'm going to pick up my healing fountain here. Which, uh, once every two minutes, I can pick it up for some health and mana restore. But I use energy, not mana. Actually, we probably picked some pretty bad heroes to do an introductory episode. Some quite weird, uh, weird heroes, so... You, you don't do mana. I mostly just push. Right, I'm using my stasis on myself here. Because I was in immense danger. Give people some more healing. So there we lost the team fight because Gaslow was already dead, but two of uh, our two assassins died without getting a single kill. Um, which it's not that good, but that means that we're now three for three again on even footing. Um, I usually like to go for the, uh, as I said, the detainment strike quest from earlier when if I hit people into walls, but on the Hanamura map there are not very many walls to hit people into. She's a talent. So here I'm going to take Reservoir of Hope, so every time I fill my energy to the max and cast it, my maximum pool of energy increases. I guess we should go to the payload. Okay, so Samuro wants to go top lane, I want to go to the payload and everyone else wants to go there. So we all have okay. different ideas. Team fighting here. <laughs> okay, I'm, got, I'm on my way back down. It's fine, the fight's over. Okay. <laughs> I'll keep pushing it then. <laughs> yeah, so there, we killed two enemies without uh, any of us dying. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I should probably wait until everyone's actually out of danger before making such a bold claim. <laughs> bold um, claim? <laughs> I mean, you were low and Diva, like, hit you with her ability, so... I am skilled. Oh, got to be very careful. I can Ouch. get... It's, it's I have no time escape to... ability. It's probably a good time to mention we are not experts at this game. I mean, we've sort of subtly hinted at it so far. And then it'll just kind of... Oh. So there I got I got bursted faster than I could even react with my Crystal Aegis. Um, that's mainly because I'm not familiar with um, Gaslo coming to team fights. Um, <laughs> normally Gaslo is a fairly solo pushing um, type of hero. Uh, so this Gaslo is actually quite rare in that he's there for every fight. So I've not actually seen his ultimate very often. And his name is the Harambe, so clearly he's uh, very really up to skilled, date. Skilled opponent. <laughs> skilled, skilled opponent. Okay. This seems this fight seems to be going okay. Um, D Diva, the Overwatch character, even if we destroy her mech, she gets to jump out of it, and she only that only counts as half a death. You have to kill her, as well. I think you'll be okay to get that. Payload in, not quite. Not quite. If the fight's extended, then it won't work out. Yeah, but I guess we're already up here now, so we're we're committed. Yeah, there you go. Diva's jumped outside her mech and is blowing it up, and that lets her then go straight back into it. <laughs> if she's charged <laughs> up her bar, and she has, so Samuro is dead. Glory. 
So the enemies haven't started pushing their payload and we're trying to get two in at once. So that's very um, ambitious of us. But it does force their team to split up if they want to stop us. Alarax says GG. Do win the game. He, think, he thinks we've got this in the bag. Uh, Samuel disagrees. Okay, so they're really trying to stop us from getting it in. Oh, I'm dead, so... Okay, and we got the payload to fire, so this one will deal two damage. So all we need to do is get one more payload in and we win the game. I am dead for another 43 seconds, so I will probably not be doing anything else this game. Okay, unfortunately, uh, he went right in there. At Alarak, that is, and so we weren't able to take the take the enemies on. But the enemies do now have to constantly keep us off uh, the um, the payload. Now I'm of the view that uh, Samurai suggested that we do the boss in the middle of the map. Uh, if you kill it and then capture the zone afterwards, then you get a free shot off against the enemy core. Uh, but I'm of the opinion that it's extremely risky, uh, unless like the entire enemy team is dead. So I think we should be able to bring this one in nicely and the game is won. So there you go. And I spawn just this in is, time. To this do is not. how to expertly win Heroes of the Storm every time play Oriel and Esmodan and you'll win. <laughs> and so now there we get you go. <laughs> now we get to see who's the MVP. MVP. It was you, well done. You got the highest hero and siege damage and also your XP contribution. Hey. So we get to upvote people for being uh, honourable, I guess, at the end. So I'll give, uh, I'll give Always Raining an upvote. And that's, pre that's pretty much it. That's only one of the maps for Heroes of the Storm, but uh, unless, uh, unless the series is incredibly popular, we're only going to do one game for each MOBA. Uh, so I mean, there's it. a lot of MOBAs to cover. Yeah, there's a lot of MOBAs to cover, so we'll, I guess we'll cover all of the ground, and if any of them, you know, get any kind of positive feedback, then uh, do do let us know whether you'd want to see more of this kind of stuff. Uh, don't take this as an indicator that I'll be posting a lot more videos. I may actually have to start <laughs> doing real work soon, so um, it may not uh, be that <laughs> be that that good. Um, but you know we, we'll see. So that that's it for the Heroes of the Storm video. So uh, we will see you for the next one. See you guys for now. <laughs>